Hello, we're going to take a minute to talk about for symmetry. It's something that specifically our year one and year two students struggle with, but hopefully it'll be of use to a lot of people. So we are going to talk about the way that I would use uh, the for symmetry and everybody will tell you a slightly different technique. The important thing is that you find a technique that works for you and that is accurate. That's the key thing. So I would suggest that we use the uh, internal display of the facimeter to work out the sphere and the sill powers, and that we use the external axis scale here to read off the axis. Um, there are technical reasons why I suggest that we do it this way, um, which we can talk about down the line if need be. So we're gonna start with something relatively straightforward. Um, the setup that I've got here is not ideal because I've got a webcam attached to a facimeter. So you can just about see both sets of green lines and you can see the power scale at the bottom of the display on the right there. So hopefully it's gonna work okay. Um, I've zeroed it as best I can. And if I turn the power dial a little there, you can see that it looks pretty much zero, pretty much calibrated. Um, we can talk about calibration down the line as well, but we're gonna keep it simple today. So I've got a set of glasses down here. Uh, I'm gonna write the prescription out and we're gonna talk about the form that this takes as well. So to start with, I'm gonna put the right lens in position on the facimeter, which you can kind of see up here. You'll notice that I keep it flat on the stage here because if you don't do that, then the axes will be incorrect. So there we are, I think you can see that, okay. So start with the, prescript, the, the scale way up in the plus. The reason for starting way up in the plus is that we work in minor sill form. So starting in plus and bringing it down towards the minus end of the scale will work best that for that. So I'm gonna wind the scale slowly down towards the minus and sort of about there. And can you see that when we get near to the power, if I bring it swing between a little bit minus and a little bit plus, just to try and make sure that we get it nice and central. I, I think we can agree that that's pretty much spot on a plus two sphere. So I'm gonna write on my sheet here, right eye plus two sphere. Uh, remember that every power that you write has to have a sign and two decimal places as well. Anything other than that is going to be wrong and will be marked wrong. Okay, so now to get the centers, I'm going to want to move the, I'm moving the glasses a little. This is where the setup doesn't work brilliantly, but that's, I think that's, oh, I think that's pretty much there. And then I'm going to dot it here. If we then swing over to the left eye, there we are, try and get that pretty central. Oops, there we go. So same routine, I'm gonna bring the, the scale way up into the plus, and I'm gonna bring it slowly down towards the minus. And right. So can you see that the image this time, rather than focusing up as 12 nice little clear dots, it's focused up as a series of lines and you can see that the axes are a little bit there we are there we go perfect right so looking at the scale there you can see that that is round about 425 plus 425 i think so we're going to go left eye plus 425 now it's not a, a sphere only this time, so we're gonna leave a bit of space to write the rest of the prescription down. So I am gonna move this axis there until the two green lines line up with the little lines in the middle of the display, which is about there. And the right lens of the glasses is very slightly in the way, but if you look at that external scale, it's between 125 and 130. So we're going to say the axis is 127 and a half. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space there. So axis 127 and a half. There we are. So we're going to put a little dash there. For, so we've got space to write the sill power. 
So uh, I'm going to keep turning the power dial towards the minus. There we go, around about there. It's kind of tricky to spot because of the arrangement with the webcam. So we've gone from plus four to five and we've ended up just about at plus three, I think. Yeah, maybe slightly over, but yeah. So call it plus three. So we have to work out what the difference between plus four, two, five and plus three is. So that is minus one, two, five. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward to do it this way. I'm just gonna move that into the center and I'm gonna dot the centers as well. Can you see that that is a relatively straightforward way of working out a relatively straightforward prescription? Thank you very much indeed. Speak to you soon.